So you shut down a club for first graders studying the Bible. Do you feel, you feel good about that? Yes, we do. In fact, we didn't shut it down. After getting the letter that we sent, the school itself looked at the legal precedent and looked at the reasoning, and they decided to stop the illegal Bible club. What's the constitutional problem with this? Well, Tucker, you know there's a difference between free speech and government speech. When those teachers are at the school, they are the government. But there are families who wish to protect their children from the, the depravity and the violence that's in the Bible. The school did the right thing, and the school should be applauded for giving a lesson to the students about the importance of our Constitution. And you can bet that Christian parents would protest if atheist teachers were, were having a Bible club teaching the children how horrible that brutal alpha God is in the yeah. Bible who, they, who threatens violence and fire and a Jesus who talked about okay, beating slaves they, they probably, and gouging well, out well, body parts. Slow, slow down there. It was slow down. What, wait a they, minute. They might, Tuck, why well, should they I slow may, down? This, they, they may be because you're getting on an answer. Look, you're attacking the Bible. You to, how often, Tucker, do you get to hear informed criticism of the Bible? You're rarely get to hear that. It's been pushed to these kids like it's a loving book, but it's, it's full of fire and violence. I don't think this is, don't think the this world. is informed criticism. Look, I want to have a conversation with you about what you did and about whether you were representing the Constitution when you did it.